Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today our group is kind to present about PCR. Greetings to Dr. Nizam, Dr. Shibli and Sir Khairi. Polymerase chain reaction PCR is a fast and inexpensive technique that are developed by Kerry Mullis in 1918. PCR is an amplification technique that are used to clone specific target DNA sequence which then generate thousands to millions copies of DNA of interest. It has been become fundamental tools in genetic and molecular research where large amount of target DNA are required for DNA experimentation. Some application has been relying on this technique including DNA sequencing in human genome project, DNA fingerprinting and forensic, identification of virus and bacteria, and even a diagnosis of hereditary disease. It has been referred as a molecular photocopying as its ability to amplify large amount of DNA from a small quantities of nucleic acid. Assalamualaikum. So I will explain about the PCR application. PCR been used for consumer genomics as it enable the personalized genome testing based on the consumer genome information. It also been used in food and agriculture technology as it enable modification of existing organism to improve food and food production. In environmental microbiology, PCR help in detection of microorganism as it allows specific target species to be identified and quantified. In net sci uh, forensic science, where PCR will be used in identification of criminals and the collection of organic crime scenes evidence such blood, hair, semen, and DNA profile from fingerprints. And it also been used in genetic research for creation, detection, and monitoring of genetically modified organisms, genetic engineering, and many more. Next is PCR primers, which are short fragments of single-stranded DNA that are complementary to DNA sequence that flank to the target region of interest. The purpose of PCR primers is to provide the three hydroxyl ends by which DNA polymerase mediated DNA synthesis proceeds after the binding of primers to the complementary region of the target DNA. The good PCR primers include primer length, which uh, they should find a balance between specificity and amplification efficiency which means that the shorter the primers, the more efficiently they can bind to the target DNA. Secondly, temperature boundaries, which include around 52 degrees Celsius to 58 degrees Celsius. Avert primer dimers, which means the primer should not be self-complementary or complementary with either primer in a reaction mixture. The GC content, which means the presence of G and C bases at the three end of primers, uh, promote correct binding because of the stronger bonding that contribute to more stability. Hi, I'm going to talk about the type polymerase. Type polymerase is the heat stable DNA polymerase enzyme isolated from the thermos apodicus bacteria. It is to automate the repetitive steps in the PCR, mostly in the elimination steps. It can only produce DNA if the primer present and it has 5' prime to 3' prime isonucleus activity with the presence of magnesium ion. This is the figure starts in the PCR by using type polymerase with an extended primer from 5' prime to 3' prime. The advantages of type polymerase are thermostable. most stable, it can work at high temperature, efficiency is fully functional at the optimum temperature which is the 72 degrees Celsius. It has high amplification capacity and it has longer half-life which is more than 2 hours at the temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. PCR is a 3 steps process. This is the whole process of PCR. The first process is called denaturation. It is known as a process that breaks down the DNA double helix into two separate strands. Basically, it can be done using mechanical and many other ways such as enzymatic, chemical, thermal and combination of those. The most famous mechanical way is boiling. Till date, mechanical way is the most common use compared to other ways. It is done by heating up all the solutions of PCR in a PCR tube and heat it for around 1 to 3 minutes in a 94 to 96 degrees Celsius. The heat will break down the hydrogen balls that held the DNA together. 
and now I will talk about annealing. Annealing is the next stage in PCR after denaturation. In this step, primer will attach to complementary sequence of denatured DNA strand. After denaturation, the temperature is reduced so that primer can form hydrogen bond with complementary sequence in target DNA. The primer are a starting point of DNA synthesis and it is designed to complement the target DNA. This step requires temperature at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. However, it depends on the melting temperature that the primer is used. Once primer annealed to target DNA, polymerase enzyme can bind and makes new complementary strand of DNA from loose bases. Note that it follows base pairing rules where A is paired with P and C is paired with G. The two separated DNA complementary and run in opposite direction which is from 5'M to 3'N. That's all. Thank you. Extension is the final step in PCR also known as elongation. In this process, heat is increased to 72 degrees Celsius where the intact DNA polymerase binds to the primer to produce new DNA strand. The duration for this process depends on the length of DNA sequence and usually one minute can copy 1000 DNA bases. Repetition of the three steps, denaturation, annealing and extension can produce lots of DNA molecules. As we can see in the figure below, tag DNA polymerase bind to the primer of single strand DNA, adding new DNA bases in 5' prime to 3' prime direction to synthesize new complementary DNA strand. And this step keeps repeated to produce lots of copied DNA molecules. Next, I will explain about gel atroporosis in visualizing PCR. So, the principle of gel atroporosis. Gel atroporosis is a technique used to separate DNA fragments according to their size. So, the DNA samples are loaded into wells at one end of a gel. An electric current is applied to pull them through the gel. So, the DNA fragments are negatively charged. So, they will migrate to the positively charged anode. So this figure shows the overview, overview of agarose gel atroporosis experiment. So because all the DNA fragments have the same amount of charge per mass, then small fragments move through the gel faster than large one. So when a gel is then with a DNA binding dye, the DNA fragments can be seen as bands, each representing a group of same size DNA fragments. So this figure shows an image of a gel post-atroporosis which DNA fragments are spreading into varying size ranging from 100 BP to 3 KB. So that's all from me. Types of PCR include real-time PCR where DNA molecules are tagged using fluorescent dye which is used to monitor and quantify PCR products in real time. The following is reverse transcriptase PCR that creates complementary DNA by reverse transcribing RNA to DNA using reverse transcriptase. Next is multiplex PCR that use a number of primers to multiply multiple fragments in a single DNA sample. The following is nested PCR where after the initial 25 to 35 PCR cycles, an additional PCR is conducted using new primers nested within the original primers. The following is hot start PCR in which heat is used to denature antibodies that are used to inactivate tag polymerase. There are also long range PCR where longer ranges of DNA are formed by using a mixture of polymerase, assembly PCR where longer DNA fragments are amplified by using overlapping primers, asymmetric PCR where only one strand of the target DNA is amplified and last but not least is in situ PCR where PCR that takes place in cells or in fit tissue on a slide. and very good day. I'm Ashkin and I will briefly explain about the advantages and disadvantages of the PCR. On the first point, we can see that it can be performed quickly, high sensitive, detect the antimicrobial resistance, cost effective and able to detect uh, the less common organisms such as viruses. However, the disadvantages is cannot amplify the normal flora sample, lower specificity, need to use specific primers, 
less cost effective and meet supply costs and other expenses. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. With that, we thank you.